Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. I am ready for the weekend. Actually, <laughs> John is off today, so it's kind of like the weekend. He has gone to run some errands while I make a video, which will be nice. So I have lots of stuff here to show you, and I actually paid extra to have, I think it was two outfits from Express to show you and some other things. And I just can't wait any longer because then I won't have time to edit this video and everything. So expect videos from me this weekend. I'm gonna go ahead and work through the weekend. I did two big, three big orders this week. Like I've said before, I'm not going to any stores if I can help it. Even some days I even feel like going somewhere. I'll think, oh, I wanna go to Dillard's and see what shoes they have or see if Dior has gotten anything new in. And I will set out to go and then I'll just say, no, it's not worth it. I mean, I don't know, I have a phobia and I hope that I can recover from it because I don't know, do I hope that? I don't know, we'll have to talk about that later. I placed orders with Ulta, Sephora, and Nordstrom last weekend. And I got all of those this week and it's too much stuff to show you in one video. So I know I'm gonna do the Nordstrom separate because I have, you know how they send everything in like different packages? I have some more coming today. Let's start with the winner of last week's giveaway, which is, <coughs> excuse me, I believe it's the other keychain, the other big O keychain. Is it? Yeah, I believe it is. And the winner from last week, I can't remember who it was now, but they never contacted me. And that is like my pet peeve with giveaways is when someone enters and they win and then they don't contact me because I don't feel like I have the time to chase people down. So I'm going to put both winners down below. This week's winner is Marsha Woods. So you are the winner of last week's keychain and this week, I got lucky. I asked if they would do this, and they were so kind to do it. I've told you guys I've been loving my City Lips, everything. The clear, the all of the different colors. I'm not as into the mattes, but that's just because I'm not as much into matte lipstick. But the Sculpting Cream, the Clear Lip Gloss, the Mascara is just amazing it's not for the faint of heart if you don't like a lot of mascara then you won't like it but i love it especially when i'm wearing like these lashes and i need the rest of my lashes to be you know bulky because i just wear the end lashes so city beauty sent me some stuff for this week's giveaway and i actually requested a phone conversation which you guys know never happens much these days but I spoke to Ryan and I asked him about this brand. He said that they were basically a skincare brand. They came out with the clear plumping lip conditioner first and then people loved it so much they came out with some different colors. Even though that's one of their best sellers, that's not really their specialty because I was like, do you have any lip liners? Do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have any lipsticks? So they're basically a skincare brand. They're based out of California. He said their mask, which I used this week, I loved it. Their masks are made in, I'm thinking Taiwan. It was one of those countries that specializes in like mask and stuff like that. And then everything else, you know what? Let me go look at my notes real quick so I can be for sure. Hold on. So I went upstairs and got my notes here. And let's see. Um, da, 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 da. The Beyond Mascara is made in Italy, the Hydra Mask is made in Taiwan, and the rest of the products are made here in the U.S. I just find stuff like that interesting. And so they were nice enough to send me a sculpting cream, which I love. I just used the body one today. I'm going to do a whole, I'll talk about this more in my favorites video that is coming up probably this weekend. And then they sent me I asked for the Clear City Lips and the San Diego and the Nude York. So this is the giveaway for this week. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment down below and then I will announce the winner next week. And if last week's winner hasn't 
contacted me by next week, I will choose another winner. So thank you so much to City Beauty. I have enjoyed working with them. And I don't have to say anything else about them, but I just love it. So let's go to the Ulta order first. I was running out of my soap in my bathroom, and I just happen to like Ulta's. They're foaming soaps. The one I have, I cannot remember what. I think it's, um, I know it's lavender. And I just usually try different ones. This is the Blue Agave. I have no idea what it smells like, but I like these. So if you're in there and you need some soap, that's a good one to get. This is one of the main reasons I placed the order, this and the next thing. I miss this when I don't have it. I ran out like two weeks ago, and I thought, that's okay. I've got so many other setting sprays. This one is different because it already came out here and used it this morning. Because it's such a fine mist it really smells good too it really it's like it doesn't really have to dry you don't need to go stand in front of a heater or use your blow dryer it doesn't leave like spots like sometimes fix plus can and it's just a good one my lashes i just don't want to wear any other lashes but these this these days i mean i know you know, I change what I like, I change my looks, but now I just like my Kiss Jubilee lashes. This is something new I bought from Ulta. It's from Kiko. And a long time ago, one of my subscribers, Angelique, used to send me a lot of stuff from Germany. We would do swaps back and forth back when that was a big thing to do. And I always loved the Kiko stuff that she sent me. I always thought it was really nice and I just always liked it. And so when I saw they had the Kiko, I was like, ooh, I want to order something. So I got the Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in the Universal Sienna, and it is gorgeous. It's a great big one, kind of like the Estee Lauder, and it smells just like the Butter Bronzer from Phys Physicians Formula. And that's what I've got on today. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It didn't have a whole bunch of fallout. It's not sparkly at all but it's not really really matte it's just kind of luminescent or you know it's like a it's a baked bronzer so it just has that little bit of sheen to it i love it so i was happy with that okay, the next one is sephora and i actually ordered that other mario palette too the not frost not shimmer but i think it's like the basic um metallic or whatever it's his it's his version of the shimmer shadows i ordered that and said maybe that will come today too first of all was the mario palette i've already done a video because i couldn't wait to tell you i have used this every day every day including today every video some of you have been compliment me on my makeup it has been this palette it is just beautiful beautiful i did not order anything else but I'll see how the next one goes, and then if the next palette's really good too, I'll try some more stuff. But I love it. And then some of you had asked me, should I, should you get this or the Natasha Denona Glam Palette? It's apples and oranges. It's just, they're both beautiful. I could use them both every day. One's more of a warm tone, but not orangey warm. More of the camel and... Um, rosy rusty tones you know what i mean it's not like orangey it's not like jacqueline hill colors it's more just i don't know how to even describe it like the camel palette if you like that so i just love it so i think you need both if you are an eyeshadow lover or if you need some eyeshadow okay i ordered another uh charlotte tilbury iconic nude because i have somehow fallen back in love with that lip liner and mine is getting to the end and it was kind of old anyway so i ordered a new one because i love that okay this is something i ordered because i've kind of since i'm doing like a little hair transition now i'm going from summertime where i did not blow dry it and i did not curl it well i miss that so much and i might still try to do it sometimes but now I have been experimenting with different curling it different ways and what I'm going to do with it. So I was looking at hair stuff and I was curious about the Jisoo from Negan. 
I have tried the hair oil before and loved it. We used every bit of it. So I ordered just these little small shampoo and the regular conditioner. Next time, I love these. I'll go ahead and say that. I love it. I've used it. I used them last night and I used them the last time I shampooed, which was I think two nights ago, two or three, and love them. The smell is good. The texture is good. It leaves your hair soft. Just not a, not a strong smell at all. And I want to try the hair mask too. So that more of this will be on the way. I'm just going to go ahead and use this, but I love it. I just, I was really impressed. Then I can't remember where I ordered these. I think everywhere I ordered from probably has them, but these are the new, well, they're new to me. It's new attachments for the Dyson air wrap. I brought the other ones out here to show you, the other size, and so this is basically the same size but just longer. So I just got them the other day, so last night was the first time I used them and I was so excited and, you know, separated my hair out and I'm not sure if I like it. I feel like it made my curls like longer I mean and that makes sense but in my mind this was just going to help me curl my hair up further but really it almost made my curls not the same I don't know I'm going to use it again and see what I did different and maybe I need to use bigger sections maybe maybe bigger sections I'm not sure so if you have ever tried these and you're going from the regular ones let me know but see how it's kind of droopy and you know I don't know I would guess I was just hoping it would give me just and I guess it does give me a little bit more curl up there but it's just not as wow as I expected but a lot of things aren't you know the first time you use them you have to kind of get used to it so I will let you know how that goes and I repurchased the lipstick that I have on Tom Ford lipsticks I love them. I mean, I love them. They're just luxe. They're, they just adhere to your lips. They're beautiful, but don't get a bunch of them. Get like one at a time and use it because they go bad quick. All of mine go bad so quick. So I wanted another Spanish pink. My other one went bad and this has always been one of my favorites. This one and nude vanilla. So I might order that one just because now that it's fall and winter, I wear more nude lips. But I've got this on today and I just love it. So I'm gonna do a little swatch there. You can see it's just my color, just that perfect warm pink, kind of a peachy pink. And I love it. So I reordered that and we're reunited. These two purchases from Sephora were they were one of those that I can't remember why. Like, I must have seen somebody use it, but like I've told you before, a lot of times if I'm watching a video and I see somebody use something, I'll go put it in my cart and then I kind of reevaluate my cart. And you, you would not believe the stuff that gets dropped out. But they happen to stay, and I used one the other day. It was this one. It's the Pat McGrath. I think one of these might have been from when I watched Naomi Campbell. I think she was using a lot of Pat McGrath. But this is the uh, Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine. And it's Nude Venus. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. But, I mean, and it's a pretty color. And it, it does have a pretty shine. Okay, the day I used it too, I will say this, I did not use lip liner. And I just never love anything like I do with a lip liner because I'm a lip liner girl so maybe this will be better I mean it's not that I didn't like it but I just thought it was kind of boring but if I use this with a lip liner I'll bet that it will be better and I do love the way it is shining so that's that one this one has some shimmer to it and it is called Lady Stardust it's from the Blitz Trance line and I could not decide today whether to wear Spanish pink or this one. So let's do right here. 
This is definitely, so you can see that's the peachy pink, that's more of a neutral, and then a nude, and then this one is more of a rosy pink. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it has kind of like a sheen to it. Not a foil, not a sparkle, but kind of like a sheen. Tammy, I think you would like this formula, not necessarily this color. Let's put just a little bit on now. Oh my goodness. Chanel. I just want to show you the sheen in it. See how you can, it keeps you from having to wear gloss, but it still kind of gives your lips. I really like this. I wonder if they have like a, I'm really into the nudes right now. Like nudes as in, you know, like creme de nude and my nudie nudes. I just get into that for some reason in the fall and winter. And that would be a good one. And the lip liner I have on today is such a good, good drugstore lip liner. It is the L'Oreal Mastermind. I always get it confused with Matt's It. Matt's It is more brown, but Mastermind, oh, that's a good one. So, like I said, I'm going to save the Nordstrom, and then I'll have some other stuff too. So, just tune in every day, and I'll be posting a video. Right now, I wanted to, I just got this in the mail today. It is a package from Dean Davidson. This is new collection, the Manhattan collection. And I have a feeling we are going to love this because it's kind of like, when his email came through, I was like, oh my goodness, this may be my favorite one because it's kind of like that Studio 54 kind of collection. And matter of fact, let me look it up and just read what it says. The Manhattan Collection, paying homage to the glamour of New York City nightlife in the late 70s, the Manhattan Collection was inspired by legendary nightclub Studio 54. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so I'm just now opening this. John just brought it in to me, and I don't have any jewelry on, so I thought we would go through. And he says, Lisa, I'm so excited for you to have pieces from the Manhattan Collection. I can't wait to see the ring on you. Big hugs from Toronto. Hugs and kisses, Dean. Okay, so here we go. And let me show you the package. I'll show you like one package so you'll see what you'll get. Like if you give it as a gift or something, I think that's important to know. And then you get your little thank you card. And then each thing comes in like a little thing like this. So, oh my goodness. These are beautiful. And I've gotten so into the studs lately. So this is, these are the, I'll put the names of everything down below so we don't have to take the time to look everything up, but they're like disco balls, but with gold. And I am going to leave everything out and then at the end, I'll decide what I'm gonna put on. Mm. Oh my God, look at the ring. You guys, I just got butterflies. Look at how beautiful that is. My fingers are smaller now. Look at how pretty. It has like the, all of the different little facets. What a classy way to do this collection. These remind me of, this is like the latest version of the little huggy earrings that I always wear. And look, see how they almost have that, you know, like the Disco or Studio 54 font. These kind of look like that. I really, I've always loved this look. I really fell in love with it even more when we went to Miami. Just that whole look is just the epitome of like Hollywood. And I would tell you, if you wanna watch something that is uplifting and interesting, what, there is a Netflix documentary on Miami. And back a long time ago when it was like a bunch of older people and it just with the art deco you will just love it it's like a like i said a documentary look at these this is the citrine look at how beautiful they are citrine he asked me at my what gemstones i liked and i told him my favorite gemstones from him are the citrine the blue topaz I'm trying to think of what else it was three different ones 
but I really, for some reason, I just really love these. I don't know if it's just because they're gold or whatever, but I love these. Look at these. It's that same like design as the Huggy, but in a chain version. Okay, I can already tell you I'm going to put these on today. I'm like feeling these. They're not heavy at all. Love. Aren't they cool? Hey, and one more. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, this is the citrine, the necklace that matches the earrings. And look at that and how pretty it is. I mean, just see how the light it is just, I never would have thought I would have liked this gemstone so much. It's just beautiful. Thank you so, so much, Dean. We text back and forth, so by the time this video posts, I will, I've already talked to him, but oh my gosh, it's just beautiful. Okay, and it's a little bit adjustable, too. Like, you can put the little bar in that one or this one. Love it. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. And I was just thinking, I've been all about these sunglasses this week, and they're kind of that vibe, too, that kind of 70s vibe. They are the Gucci's, and they're kind of see-through, and they've got the red. And these are from Oliver. So if you use my Lisa 15 discount, you can get 15% off of these. But this, I've been loving these all week. This kind of goes with the whole vibe of the, oh, this is new too. This is from Zara. Every time they come out with a new color in these bodysuits, I get it because I love them. I love them in the summer. I love them now. They're good for transition. Like it'll be 80 some degrees here today. And I love them underneath things. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up and do an outfit of the day. And then I'm going to show you the, I got two other things from Zara. And then I'll let you go until this weekend. I'll be right back. Okay, so today I'm wearing the bodysuit that I just told you about. And then these are the same jeans that I showed you yesterday in my Walmart video. These are the 90s straight leg. I love a good pair of broken in jeans. So I just decided to wear these today. And I just wanted to show them to you with these shoes, which I showed you these this week too, but they're new. They're the Tory Burch, and I love them. And then two other things I ordered from Zara. I've got to go ahead and show you these because this stuff goes quickly. This is like a strapless little top with the peplum. And I liked this because it kind of gives that look where, you know, some people wear the dress over jeans. It's kind of like that look, but not going that far. So I thought I would give it a try. And then this jacket, which is amazing. It's faux leather, but see how it's got like the waistband? And let me um, try it on for you. Hold on. I got the medium. And the way the girl had it on is she had it buttoned up. Maybe I should have gotten the small, actually. Nope, perfect. When you get the um, kind of like the inexpensive brands, you know, sometimes you have to be careful with the sizing, but look at this, how cool it is. Okay, let me back up so you can see the whole thing. I just loved the way this looked. And with it being like faux leather, like if it was a rainy day or something, and just put something warm underneath it, oh, I love it. It's a really, really cool piece. I'll get you. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it, even with this outfit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up. So here are the shoes. They're Tory Burch, in case you didn't see these last week. I think it was in my hater video I wore these. But see how they're already um, kind of bent. You know, they've already got that give. And this stretches. There's just something about a sling back that just makes everything more comfortable and today i've got on the i just painted them painted them this morning it's the new gucci polish in black and no fragrance yet john has been here this morning so if i seem like out of it or not the same it's because he is fixing things on the house you know before the um, inspection whatever 
and he had to fix something in the bathroom while I was getting ready and talk to me the whole time, which I mean, I appreciate it, but you guys know what I mean when your morning routine gets a little interrupted. So I will see you tomorrow, and I appreciate you being here. Bye-bye.